Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 54. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the 24 hour of Spa Race. Uh, so let's go to the Super Series. Spa Franc or Champ. I don't actually know how you say that. So I, I'm probably like, yeah. Uh, can you use the changeable Spa weather to your advantage? Hopefully we can because every time we've taken the uh, GTR R35 Touring Car or any car and it's rained with hard tires we've managed to do it um as well i went back and i've redone willow springs and apricot hill they were all pretty easy um after getting used to how to do this so let's get straight into spa 24 hours 24 minutes because uh, i can't do 24 hour races because i get bored after an hour here we go Starting grid. What cars are we going up against? So we're going against some Toyotas, some Jaguars. Uh, we've got a Peugeot. Interested. Uh, some R8, R10s, R8 race car, 908s, and an R18. That car, the R18, is overpowered in all Gran Turismo's that that's been in. Overpowered. Right, we are here at Spa now. It is currently pissing it down with rain very heavy rain um and we are currently on we are currently on hard tires but based off of how the past few races have gone whilst taking hard tires we've actually done better performing than the cars that took um intermediate and wet tires as you can see there managed to break way later even than them and they've got wets on. Obviously, it is going to be like a wrestling match. Because of the fact that we aren't on intermediates at all. So, we will have to fight the car for grip. But we can still go much quicker with hard tyres. And, even as we're saying that, the track was at 57% when we started. It is now at 51%. 50%. It is going down gradually. Ever so slightly, but slowly going down. Perfect. We're going to try and do fuel saving tactics, and we're going to use this first lap as a reference point for fuel so so far it looks like we're going to be using approximately a quarter of a tank of fuel per lap um which if it's two minutes a lap that's eight minutes um on the timer and we'll then have 16 minutes left which is not long enough for just one lap so I have a feeling we're going to be doing a two-lap race, uh, two pit stop race for this one, uh, which is going to be awesome. But I do feel like I definitely need to um, conserve as much fuel as possible. Uh, how many cars are actually going in the pits? Is that the entire pack going into the pits right now? Are you joking me? Everyone has just parked up behind everyone else to pit. And we've just come out with a first place from the start. Fair enough. I will take that. One thing I will say though, is if we are doing a two lap strategy, uh, which is very much likely. Look how much fuel we've used. Uh, I think it's going to be lap 
four and maybe lap seven might be better because we're not going to get um, 12 laps in. Guaranteed. So if we get that second stop a little bit earlier, that way we can be on lower fuel towards the end. I don't even know if fuel affects like weight or anything. I'm not sure if that has an effect like it does in F1. It would be really cool if it did, but I don't think it does. Very nice. Oh, slow down here. Hard on to the brakes. This is going to be probably my last recording session of... Actually, no. There's more events. There's more events, but I think I need to update the game for that. Um, but this is out of the main career, just the um, international, the supers and all that. This is going to be my last proper recording session. After that, it's just going to be fun events that are in... GT6. That's really sad. We're coming to the end of the GT6 walkthrough. That is really surprising, though, that everyone went into the pits immediately. And 3%, we're nearly at nothing, and... Oh, shit. <laughs> I was about to say, we're nearly at no water on the surface, and then it starts raining again. There we go, nice. Hey. <laughs> Ah, uh, that couldn't have been worse timing if I tried. Perfect. Right, so this is our third lap so far, so we're going to be doing uh, two more laps after this. Uh, no, just one more. We're doing this lap and the next lap and then that is going to be our first stint done. On the brakes. Very nice. Imagine living in one of those houses, just right next to the track of Spa. I don't even know if those are just track houses that used to be there that have to stay there, um, but no one lives in. I would love to live next to a racetrack, like I'm not even joking, the noise would probably bug me after a bit, but I could get used to it. Plus, I would just have a studio, a noise cancelling studio anyways, where I could then make my videos. That would be sick, though. Like, to actually live at a racetrack. Obviously, in the middle of it. Not, um... Not, like, on the actual track where the cars just, like, crash into your house. No. Maybe if my house had wheels, I could drive it on the track as well. Come on, we must be getting, like, track surface water on here now. It's been raining for the past, like, three minutes. A little bit slow through there. There are definitely people pitting right now, I think. Oh no, there's just people fighting for positions.
very nice. And there we go, it's starting to get wet. 1% so far. I feel like this is definitely not how you're supposed to play Gran Turismo, is drive around in wet weather in hard tyres. Look at that, it's now back to 0%. It went to 1% and I was just stopped. What is going on? This weather is unpredictable. More unpredictable than Britain. And it's gone. Mate, not even Brand Hatch was this bad. I don't think Brand Hatch actually had any rain. Did it? It might have. Uh, here's the pits. Right, let's fill it up with uh, 91 litres of fuel. And I will take the racing hard tyres. I'm going to have a little drink. Because, uh... This is like normal race time at the moment. Nine minutes. That's how long I'd normally spend on a race. So, uh... Got to keep myself hydrated. Brakes are on. Refuel me up. So far, the uh, first place car hasn't come onto the main straight yet. But they could be coming at any minute now. It is one o'clock in the morning in the game now. Here we go, fueled up. And we are ready to go. Perfect. Look at that. And the first place cars are actually coming onto the uh, main street now. And I've already taken a pit stop as well. Right, we have 13 minutes left. We are definitely going to need two pit stops. I'm, do you know what? If we're definitely doing two pit stops and we're doing a pit stop on the third lap, we're going for a full speed stint. I know all the other cars are guaranteed going for an extra pit stop as well because they stopped at the first on the first lap. There is no way that they are going to last long enough. I mean, to be fair, it is Gran Turismo. They probably would have like some hidden technology in their cars that could. What are you doing? Come on, slow down. Perfect. I think it's about to start raining again. Here we go. Right. On the brakes. Very nice. Look at that acceleration from this car. We are going to keep an eye out on when different cars actually go into the pits. I kind of wish um, they had that thing, I think it's in Gran Turismo 4, where it pops up saying such and such is in the pits. Because that way, we can at least see the names and tell when, like, second or third is in the pits. And we can know, okay, we can calm down a bit. That would be so useful. Because they get that kind of information on, um... Actual, like, F1 and stuff like that anyways, normally.
Perfect. Very nice. And it's raining again. Way. To be fair, we've done more tire wear in um, two laps in the dry. Then we did four laps in the wet on the first stint. Come on, back on the track. Don't ruin it today. Right, so after this lap, we're going in for a full tank of fuel. And then we're going to be on a conservative style. So we're going to be trying to conserve as much fuel as possible. It's going to be a risk. In fact, no. Four laps should be easy. We've gone way past the amount of time it would take us to do. Four laps. In fact, we may only get three more in. If we get a full flap, that'll be impressive. But I think we're only going to get three in after this if we take a pit stop. So we should have plenty of fuel. So we can go for that full power style if we want to. This is also uh, the 1009 horsepower GTR now so yeah this is definitely quick enough quick enough to catch up with uh, 16th place by the looks of it this guy is only on lap 6 he is definitely not going to make it onto lap 10 I have a feeling a lot of people went into the pits last lap. I don't even care, I'm putting on uh, hard tyres again. Here we go, right, into the pits. Haha, <laughs> 69. Funny, funny. Right, let's do this, come on, come on. Get to the pits and get that car fueled up. Have a little drink as well. Right, go, go, go. Fuel. It shouldn't take too long to fill up with fuel. Um, we'll definitely have our tyres on before it's filled up with fuel anyways. But by the time those tyres are done, off we go. And that is first place there. So we just made it out in front of first place. And it is daytime now. Or becoming daytime. I have a feeling though it may not stop raining. It may not stop raining. Um, but yes, we are going max speed for this one. Ooh, we made it. Nice. 
Here we go. Come on, come on. We have five minutes and 26 seconds left before uh, final lap. And I think everyone's in the pits now, actually. We're getting a couple of lag spikes. So, hopefully, we shouldn't have to worry about most of the rear of the pack anyways. But they are definitely not going to be a problem for us anymore. It is getting wetter and wetter, though. So, uh, as long as we keep that distance, should be okay. Should be fine. Oh, got a bit wide there. Perfect. I really do want to do like a 24 hour race, not on this game because like there's no point in it, but on a like Gran Turismo 5 or something like that, doing a 24 hour race. Um, but I'm not sure yet. Perfect. Right, we have four minutes left. Just hit the 20 minute mark on the race. Ooh. Yeah, it's getting wet now. A very big challenge for us is the wet weather driving. Right, if we can finish the lap in a minute and 10 seconds from now, we could get an 11th lap in, which would be awesome if we could do that. That'd be like pushing the boundaries. And it stopped raining, which gives us an extra opportunity too. Let's push for that extra lap. Let's do it. I think we can, actually. As long as we can finish in 30 seconds, yeah, we'll get an extra line. Hmm, maybe not. How is that not a corner cut penalty? Not that I'm complaining. Okay. This is now the push for the extra lap. In fact, I probably don't want to be pushing for an extra lap. Just look at my fuel. try and push for it anyways. Why not? Uh, this is now 15th place. Hello, coming on the inside. Okay, not great. Totally took the world's biggest L there. That's it. That's the extra lap gone. There was no breaking at all whatsoever. We may as well just uh, cruise this one out. Because uh, we are in first place anyways, and there isn't any cars for miles. We will be finishing this race very early, though. Up the back of the car. Very nice. GG, everyone. I'm saying GG to AI cars, though. 
That is a, a very weird thing. But they deserve a GG because the PlayStation had to control 15 cars. GG PlayStation. Actually, after that crash, we could have aimed for another lap. Two, one, final lap. There are cars in the pit lane that didn't make it. But there we go. 24 minutes. Let's actually have a look at the results. 24.04.659. And then you have the cars behind that actually managed to do it uh, with one lap extra. Wait, hang on. How did all of the R18s get a 2409.851? Is that because they're in the pits? So if they're in the pits, then... Ah, makes sense. All of the R18s, the ones that I said were overpowered, have finished the race in a final position. Except for the Mark IV race car. I don't even know what that is. But it is a slow thing, apparently. That is very good. That is very good. GG, everyone. GG, everyone. And are we going to get our stuff? Thank you. Replay. And 143,000 credits and three stars. Epic. Top tip, guys. Always take hard tires in the wet. It w just works. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.